right, so what we're seeing is an unfinished beat session. The beat has already been made, but the project is not in the finished state. And it will be when I save the stems, both dry and wet, zipped loop package and the mp3 version of the beat and wave version of the beat. That's when it's saved. And until then, the beat is not done yet. So let's clean the session and wrap it up so it can be stored properly and can be accessed for listening easily. Before we get into anything, let's uh, check out the beat. What do we got here? We have Labs, and that's Soft Piano Library from Labs. And that's hybrid keys. Next we got another contact library and I believe this is one of the uh, contact factory selection. Yeah, so this is the pad called a Bogart. Another instance of hybrid keys from contact. And these are just the bass notes from the chord progression. And uh, I just wanted to make it sound a little more arpeggiated. Uh, that's why I chopped it up like this. Next, I have just a one shot. So it follows uh, the notes from the chord progression. Uh, then I added a uh, bell sound. I think I already used it in one of my beats. I really like this bell sound. Then we got drums. The rest of all this is just Vox I added. I like to use Vox uh, quite liberally in my beats. Uh, it's just something that um, I've developed an ear for and I like the end result, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I do see that I have attempted coloring 
the instruments and, and drums and basses here and then I started adding all of these box and I forgot about coloring and then I, I guess I added the contact library later on and um, it still looks kind of half done and I would prefer it to look done. So let's do the following. I'm just gonna select all of the instruments again, go to color selected gradient. This is what I do always uh, at this stage. I, I do the gradient color assignment. So we'll go from this color, kind of this dark ish purple first. And then for last, we'll, we'll make it a little bit lighter, uh, lighter, just like this. Uh, drums are fine. I didn't add any drums, so they look fine color wise. Uh, bases are red, 808 is darker shade. And then this, uh, I think this is a guitar. I'm not sure where I'm gonna use it in the beat, but um, as we go through the arrangement stage, uh, we'll we'll find this this spot for it. Foley, that's a completely different kind of uh, audio track, so we'll give it a, a very distinct color, not the same as anything else. Dark turquoise, nothing dark about it, but select and give color to all of these box samples now. Again, gradient. Let's do something like yellow. And this kind of yellow. Take care of the rest of the names of these box files. And then assign each instrument, drum, bass, and voxes, including Foley, to the corresponding mixer channel. I'll start by renaming Vox and what I would do, I would just do it like this box one, box two. Actually, I'll just copy this. Since a lot of these instruments and uh, drums are already routed to the mixer channel, there may be effects on them already, like this piano. For example, uh, the channel six, that's both chords and uh, a contact library. So uh, that's piano and uh, contact pad, both routed to the channel. And I think I, I like the way it sounded. I wanted them to, to go through this channel together. I wouldn't want to separate them and have them routed to different channels. So I'll respect that and I, I keep it as is. Same for these two pads. They are routed to this channel with, with these effects. And if I did it at some point, that means I, I like the way it sounded. Um, I wouldn't want to uh, copy all of the effects into a separate channel and, you know, uh, put a, put more strain on, on my CPU, even though my laptop is uh, powerful enough to, to cope with that. One of the old habits that I have is to uh, run a few instances of some instruments through the same channel. So labs and hybrid keys, they go through the same channel. So this is how I'm gonna keep it. Let's assign it a color, dark purple color. And I'm just gonna rename this into soft piano. That's just the name of the preset in labs, hybrid keys. And I'm gonna name this channel Soft Piano plus Hybrid Key. All right, next uh, we got two pads routed to channel three. I'm just gonna move this a little bit closer here. Also, this purple ish color. And then we got Accent. For some reason, it assigned to channel 12. So what I'm gonna do since channel three is taken by hi-hat three, I don't want to mess anything up here. So I'm just gonna move this channel 12. So that's 
the accent. The bell is now also channel 12, so I'll move that as well closer. Bell. Okay, so this way I have everything assigned to, to the channels. I know there's probably faster ways to do that, but uh, since this project is kind of messy, something's assigned, something's not assigned, I prefer to, to go and uh, do everything manually one by one, even though I know I could select a few of them and you know assign them together. But I don't want to miss anything, so I'd rather spend a little bit extra time uh, to make sure I'm doing it right for myself. Because it just makes myself in my head. So that's what you should do when you're fixing uh, your old sessions. Just do what makes sense to you. And you should be golden. So now I guess I do have an opportunity to show how to assign everything uh, um, by, by grouping. Now I've messed up the, the colors. And it bothers me a little bit. So I'll unassign the, the channels. Uh, eventually, it'll still be assigned to that same channel. It's just, um, yeah, you'll know what I mean when I actually do that. So let me select it again. Um, I want to make sure the colors are making sense again. Boom. All of them are selected. 10 drum sounds. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold command, hit L. All of them are now assigned all together. And these ones, five, six, seven, I know they were previously assigned, but in order to be able to do this and have the color to be to match here and here, I had to unassign so that when I hit control, command L it does it properly because if I left it assigned to the channel, it wouldn't transfer the color onto here. I hope I'm making sense. 808 and bass lines. So this one is assigned to channel 10 and 11 for whatever reason, but there's no effects. Even if I unassign it from those channels, it's uh, no hurt feelings. Both are unassigned. Select them as a group. Select three channels here. Command L or Control L on Windows. Foley, Command L, signed. Now you might ask me why assigning Vox to the same channel? Shouldn't each of them have its own yes and no? I had to make quick decisions. Like it, it doesn't make each and every one of them sound the same. As I was fiddling with individual settings like pitch, and then stretching mode and then format and having them assigned to the same channel didn't really matter because they at the, at the end of the day they, they still sounded differently now uh, for the sake of keeping this video short i'm not going to be assigning each of them to its own channel and then adding effects on top of it because i already like the way they sound so doing a split would not only take a lot of time but also would break something that I have already built. It's just less work. And the less work we do to get to the point, the better. At least that's my motto. Now, uh, tell me that does not look pleasing. Look at this. We got colors. Everything makes sense. Mixer channel. Everything looks tip top. Now we can move on to its corresponding buses instruments so we'll create an instrument bus we'll create drum bus we'll create uh, the bus for basses foley doesn't really need a bus and vox is already assigned to one channel so it is a bus in its own we'll create three different buses i like to put my bus channels in the beginning here just just getting three empty channels I hold command and I select all of the instruments. I uncheck the assignment to the master. I still hold the command and then I click each and every channel is assigned to a bus. In PR bus. 
Same thing, I hold command and I drag, select all of these, unassign from the master, hit this arrow to assign, voila, all of them are assigned. Bases, boom. Drum, bus, bass, bus. Let's finish it off with assigning a color. Red, red, red. Next is leveling. I'm going to start by selecting everything to zero. Everything has to be silent. And also what we'll do, mix and mono. I'm going to try and stick to that. So I also uh, almost always sidechain the kick to the base. In this case, I have three bases, right? So I'm going to sidechain the kick to the base buzz. Uh, let me just level this bass sound.
I'm gonna remove the mono. And let's hear what it sounds like without it. Great, so let's uh, move on to the arrangement part. Right now everything is on one pattern, so I'm gonna need to separate all of that and start working on that arrangement. So we'll do the split by channel thing. When it does that, it kind of stacks everything on top of each other. I'll delete that, select all of these patterns on the side and then drop them here, just like that. Then I arrange everything the way I like it. Uh, so instruments on top, then I got my drums, basses, this perk should probably go together with the drums. So I'll put it here, kind of sandwich it in between the last drum and this 808. Fully, I'll, I'll keep on top and then these vox, I usually tuck them underneath like so. Let's select everything and bring it up. Just like so. Then I do this, I select everything, command C, command B, just a bunch of times. I normally keep my beats between two to three minutes, so this is probably okay, but let's get into this. Now, final and last, probably one of the most important steps, the step that will set you free and put your mind to rest and save you from lingering thoughts that you have an unfinished project somewhere on your hard drive. It's the saving and backing up your project. To do that, we'll go to File, Export, Zip Loop Package. So this will save package with all of the sounds that we used in the project. So it'll put it in a separate folder, save it safely for you along with the project file. And this is something that you could actually back up and put it maybe on a separate hard drive. That way you have it on both laptop or PC and somewhere else stored safely on a different hard drive. So let's do that. The blue package. So we'll go to my projects file. This is where I have my unfinished projects. Uh, we'll select folder 2022 May. Uh, maybe create a new folder here and call it same name as the project name. I called it Tiller, which is um, a kind of a type beat for Bryson Tiller. All right, create a zip loop file. Say now let's go check it out. File is here. The next uh, big save we'll do is 
saving stems, both dry and wet. To do that, we'll go to File, Export, WAV File. Make sure that you select the same folder again. Okay, so Project Type Pull Song, Tail Cut Remainder. We're gonna save all of the stems in a WAV format. This is to ensure we got the best quality. Um, I usually leave it at 24-bit stereo. Resampling, I choose the highest, 512 point sync. You can just copy the rest. In order to split and have all of the mixer channels saved as a separate stem, you have to select this split mixer tracks. In order to save dry stems with no effects, you have to undo enable insert effects. Inserts are channels in the mixer. So you have to uncheck that. Also turn off enable master effects. That will ensure every stem has no effects applied and click start. Now that it's done, I'm gonna go into that folder. I should have probably done it before, but I'll do it now. I'll take these files. These are the dry stems and I'll just move them into a new folder. Uh, obviously I call it dry. Select everything and just move it into that folder. That's how I should have done it in the first place. So create a folder, wet. Now we have both dry and wet. We again go to export, wave file, select wet, save. We enable insert effects and we enable master effects. And that's the only thing that we need to do in order to save wet stems with effects applied to each stem. Let's go. And lastly, we are going to save an MP3 version of this beat. We'll put it into the same folder. You can move it later into your folder where you just keep the MP3s. That way you can select them all and play them. But for now, we'll save it into that same folder. I don't even change anything here. I just make sure that effects are enabled, master effects are enabled, and MP3 is selected here and start. Thank you.